Well, it was a lovely surprise to actually see Martin and Sarah arrive with Ronnie and Reggie, though I don't think Chip and Dale were too impressed. I'm not even gonna look at them. I'm just looking at the floor. Right then, Dale. If it all kicks off, I've got the one on the left. Have you got me back, bro? Oh, yes, Chipster. I've got your back, bro. So, anyway, it was soon time for Martin to set the lines and get on their way to the Anderton boat lift. They're going on the same trip that uh, Kevin and Marie and Sandy and I went on and they're looking forward to it. But they decided to leave uh, the afternoon before they were planning just to get up to the Shady and have a nice meal and a couple of beers. See you Ronnie and Reggie! Here Ronnie, I hope we can sort someone out. On the way to the Anderton. Hope we get some astral boy. Yeah, Reggie, it'll be good to sort someone out. Don't mind a bit of hassle on my holiday, bro. Yeah, Ronnie. <laughs> Can't beat the smell of fear first thing in the morning. Yes, their boat is very, very nice. Very nice indeed. Nice pram cover. And Diabus Nostris, which means our time in Latin. A lovely name for a lovely boat. I know this clip doesn't actually show it, but it was quite a breezy afternoon and Martin was using his bow thrusters just to bring the bow around to go against the wind and they were soon on their way. Yes, Martin, Sarah, Kevin, Anne-Marie and Sandy and I have been talking, in fact, about planning a trip out for all of us and taking the three boats, who knows, just down the Shropshire Union to see how far we could get. It'd be brilliant and what an experience to share it with you. Have a safe trip, guys, and we'll see you when you get back. And off they go to head east on the Shropshire Union. Layers! Layers! And now, of course, that they've moved their boat, we have a big gap, a big space to the stern of Chuggabug. Tuesday, 17th of August. I'm climbing the hill. Hold on, boys. Go on. Go on. Yeah, just bringing them. It's about five o'clock, I think. Thereabouts. Yeah, five to five in the afternoon. Glorious afternoon. The sun's shining. Beautiful afternoon. Come on, you two. Come on. Um, yeah, been a lazy day for me, really. Just worked over at the boathouse for two and a half hours this morning. Come on, then. Come on. Um, so, a, quite a lazy day. Sandy's been in work. And uh, we had two visitors on board this afternoon. Is that wind getting a bit up? Let's go around the tree. Come on, you two. Drag the dogs. Just drag them because they don't want to walk. Getting lazy. They should have had, should be bloodhounds, these two. The sniffing they do. Um, yeah, so we had uh, two visitors on board. Lovely to see Carrie and Ivan. Um, now, if you watch the narrowboat chef, it's actually Maggie's mum and dad. They've got a boat on the marina and they've just arrived over from Australia and uh, we caught them uh, a few months ago when they were last over uh, but they're going on a nice cruise going to meet Maggie and Ryan narrowboat chefs and it'd be nice to catch up with them perhaps if we get chance who knows who knows but lovely to see you both and uh, have a lovely journey so let's see what this week 
So, yes, it's uh, Thursday, Thursday morning. It's about ten past ten, and we uh, we went to Amy and Matt's yesterday, and actually got all our stuff uh, out of her garage and had a sort out. And as you can see, I've got some of my drawings. Um, we're going to put them up, perhaps put them up in the boat, but it's quite nice to see them again from the old house. That was uh, Clovelly, a drawing I did that uh, I took a photograph when we were down there a couple of years ago. Beautiful place down in uh, in Devon. Um, there's a little funny, comical little picture that I did. That uh, I'd love that up in the boat. Um, what else have we got here? This is a a drawing I did of a a dear place to us both at uh, Portsmouth. Those of you might recognise the Spinnaker Tower there, and obviously the town, and then Brixham Harbour, a very dear place, a place that's uh, very special to both of us. Uh, old lovely memories there, Brixham Harbour. So yeah, there's my pictures. Uh, for now, I'm just going to put them away on the boat and um, yeah, just have a look at, uh, at where we're going to put them. Yeah, nice to have my heart, my artwork uh, back on the boat. It really is. But uh, I just thought uh, I've got a few little odd jobs to do, a couple of, uh, of phone calls to make. And then I thought we'll go and have a look at a GRP cruiser that's up at the brokerage. I've never actually been on one. So I want to go and have a nose and uh, have a look at what they're about, really. Not really my cup of tea, um, but it is a beautiful boat. So I thought I'd share it with you. Let's go and have a look. Yeah, so uh, it was a beautiful morning to go down to the brokerage there at Tatton Hall. Um, very, very nice. Nice little area and a lovely little boat we're going to see. And there she is. She was built in 1993 and actually featured in the Earl's Court Boat Show, which is quite a prestigious boat show over here in the, in the UK. And for a GRP, a glass reinforced plastic uh, for a GRP boat, it is quite a long one. She's 32 foot long. Beautiful little cockpit or wheelhouse uh, with adequate seating for lots of guests to enjoy the sunshine. And there is a fold away hood there that goes right over the top. Now the front cabin consists of everything really that you want. Lovely seating area with a television, and that converts to a large double bed. Beautiful sunroof to let the light in. Really light and airy place. Lovely little galley area with everything you need, including a 12-volt fridge. It is really well equipped, this little boat. It has a lovely little Pullman diner there, and believe it or not, that actually converts to yet another double bed. The boat itself is a six berth. Now, the wet room, consisting of a toilet and the shower. The use of space on this little boat is fantastic. Now, the rear cabin. Quite compact, I admit, but it has everything you need. This seating area, quite adequate, and there's a little shelf there for a television as well, and that converts here to a double bed. Again, for a small area, it is very light. This also has its own little wet room, very handy for guests. They've got their own port and sink. And just tucked away behind the door is the wardrobe. Quite a bit of space for your clothes. Now, getting off isn't as glamorous. You do have quite a large step, so uh, they are a little bit awkward to get on and off. So, I hope you enjoyed that little glimpse of the GRP cruiser. Um, I'm sure you'll agree, it's a lovely little, uh, lovely little vessel. Not for me. Um, I don't want to be sitting in plastic um, when you could have 17, 18 tonne of steel uh, 
side swipe you and there's only going to be one winner there that that's the only reason they are beautiful beautiful little vessels and these talking of beautiful two little doggies sitting in the sun rays loving it loving it all right then that's it for this time on chugabug come and join me next time bye bye